On the 6th of December 2018, I got an email from the head of the Medicines Admissions team at Birmingham University offering me an interview for their Graduate Entry Medicine program. The interview itself was to be on the 14th of January 2019, giving me just over four weeks to prepare, including two weeks of full-time prep over the Christmas holidays. Those four weeks were four of the most exciting and equally daunting four weeks of my life. Naturally, I wanted to document and share the process with you because I know a lot of you guys will be going through a similar thing. Conveniently, I managed to get super ill over the Christmas holidays, which meant that I didn't do a lot of filming and spent the majority of my time wrapped up in a blanket, drinking some sort of hot beverage and having my face either stuck in some sort of an interview book or prepping interview questions with my parents. And everything else that you're about to see in the rest of this video is what followed in the week before the interview itself. Me going through the full motions of it in real time. And whether you've been through this yourself, or as I said, whether you may be going through this yourself soon, I hope you enjoy either way. I'll roll the clips. Good morning. It is Thursday the 10th of January 2019, and it is currently 5.25 in the morning as we speak. I don't really know why I got the urge to make a little quick vlog, but I thought I wanted to document a little bit more of my process. After Christmas, my work has obviously started, so that means I don't have as much time as I would like to continue prepping for the interview. And that, a lot of the time, means having to get up at this time of the morning, make myself a cup of coffee, um, sit in front of my laptop and just do a bit of prep before work. Especially on days today where I've got the clinic, so I actually need to be at work by around 8, half 8. But I like to get up early anyway, and I just wanted to show you a little realistic chunk, um, or like a, I don't even know what I'm saying, like a realistic um, clip of what I've been doing for the past couple of days since I've come back from, for Christmas, from Christmas. God, I'm really not with it, right? I need to drink this because I've just made it so that my brain can work again. In terms of how I actually feel, I feel okay, um, but I think perhaps it's one of those things that you're never going to feel fully ready for or you're always going to be a little bit nervous for it. But, you know, I feel okay. I feel like my prep is coming together. I went to see Kenji yesterday who helped me quite a bit with prep. Jack has been asking me questions, my parents have been asking me questions over the Christmas holidays. Um, one of Jack's very good friends, Luke, hi if you're watching, came and stayed with us last weekend and he just gave me a surprise MMI, which uh, I hate him a little bit for it because I wasn't ready, but it was very, very useful. It was very, very kind of him. But yeah, so that's where I'm at. And I'm sorry I haven't been able to make other videos in the process, um, you know, in the last week or so, but I guess the next video you'll be seeing is this one, and this will be my whole interview vlog. I wish you all the best wherever you are. I'm going to go finish my coffee and do a bit of prep before I have to get ready. See you in the next one. Good morning, it is Sunday the 13th of January and I am just on my way to go catch a bus to Birmingham for my interview that's tomorrow. So this is extra exciting because I don't think I've ever um, visited Birmingham and I have never booked a hotel for myself before either. So yeah, <laughs> so I'm heading there now. I'm nervous leaving the house. I don't know, is this normal? This is my first ever medicine like interview. Um, so I will just keep up with you guys or catch up with you guys when I get there. Okay, so I just had to run back to the flat because I forgot to print off and sign my confidentiality agreement. Um, yeah, so I'm running back to the station now. <laughs> one and I am finally here. Now in case anybody is curious, the place that I'm staying at is the Edgbaston Park Conference Centre slash Hotel. 
so I'm going to spend the night here, my interview is tomorrow and I thought I'd get here a day earlier. Firstly, just, you know, to put myself at ease, that I don't have to rush in case any disasters happen um, on the day of the interview, if I, you know, if I had to travel from London to here. And also, I thought it would be really fun to go out and explore Birmingham a little bit while I've got the day. Now, I didn't actually mention this before, but one of my lovely subscribers, Amy, actually reached out to me before the interview and we were emailing for a while and she was being so kind and offering me a bunch of advice about the interview and we decided to meet up today and kind of go and explore the campus together. So I'm super excited for that and while I'm on the topic, I should also say a big thank you and a shout out to Kirsty, who is another one of my lovely subscribers who got in touch with me, helped me out so much through lots of information on email and gave me a phone call and just gave me some advice um, and I will share some of that advice with you because I think it's too good not to be shared but for the purpose of this vloggy segment of the video, that's it! Um, I'm here, I'm tired, I think I'm going to have a coffee, there is a little tea and coffee station over there and then go out to meet Amy. All right, my lovelies, I can try and get some clips around the Birmingham campus, uh, just in case any of you guys are coming here. But until now, I need some caffeine in my system before I can officially start functioning as a person. I will see you guys when I next see you. morning of the interview and it's early as always because I'm just an early bird um, and I'm in the hotel room reading through a bunch of my notes and resources last minute. I think I'm going to get up, get ready and um, again just carry on reading some last minute things and then I guess I will head to the med school for the interview. So yesterday I did go and meet Amy and it was really lovely. We sat and had a coffee in the hospital and had a big chat. Um, I didn't actually film that much because to be honest, I was so tired yesterday. And even uh, last night, I was just feeling a bit shivery and achy and cold. So it was really nice to just come back, um, order room service, get some food, have an early night. And I feel refreshed this morning. I feel good. So yeah. I've got BBC news on that I'm watching uh, in the hopes of catching any last minute like health news but other than that, that is my update and I think the next time I'll pick up the camera is either when I'm heading to the interview or just after. Wish me luck! Even though you would have seen this after my interview but whatever. <laughs> See you later. I'm about to head out the door now. I can't tell you how nervous I feel. Let's hope it goes well. See you after. So currently it is Thursday the 7th of February 2019. It is 7.05am and on Monday, Monday the 4th of February, I received an email from the admissions tutors at Birmingham to say that my interview had been successful and that they would like to offer me a place to study medicine. I I honestly have no words. Three days have passed and I'm still in utter shock. I'm so excited and so happy and so relieved and so grateful that I've been able to document my whole journey for the past two years of going through the admissions tests, of going through the applications, of the work experience and all of that. I'm so grateful that I've found a way to push through it with the support of everybody who I love and you guys who've just come along this journey with me. I'm so thankful to you all, I'm so thankful for our little community, for all of you guys who've been going through the same thing at the same time, following along, you know, because for me personally it feels like I, had, I haven't been alone in this. I've felt like talking to you guys and hearing your experiences, it's been so amazing and I really really hope that you guys also have a lot of good news that you can share with us down below and we can all have a chat down there. If I sound a bit tired and not as excited it's because I'm just I'm still a little bit in shock because when you've been working for something for such a long time and it actually comes into fruition I, I almost feel like I have to check the email again and be like is this correct? Did they send it to the right person? But yeah I mean here we are. 
I don't know what to say. And maybe this goes without saying, but I'm going to mention it anyway, that I honestly mean when I say if it wasn't for the people who've supported me through the last two years, I wouldn't have been where I am, I wouldn't have gotten the interview to begin with, and I certainly would not have gotten an acceptance. People like Jack who've supported me throughout and have been like my number one supporter throughout everything. My parents who are always incredible and my amazing friends who not only have helped me on a practical level and helped me with interview prep and giving me advice and you know just general support but also for just being there and cheering me up and my god putting up with my moodiness and crankiness throughout all of the ups and downs. I'm very very grateful and as I already mentioned all of you beautiful people who have been nothing but a beacon of support throughout the whole thing and guys I guess with that the medicine diaries series as you know it is going to come to an end but fret not because it's not goodbye it is just a transition onto another very different and very exciting chapter and I sincerely hope that you guys will hang around and come with me along that journey because it's uh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be exciting and challenging and bring it on. Thank you all for watching and just thank you in general. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>